Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. Tonight we're looking at a watch that my brother lent me. This is a brilliant Millsub style watch. It's a Steinhardt Ocean 1. And this piece is actually one of the Nomon exclusive watches. And it's absolutely brilliant. So let's take a look at this watch. So here is the Steinhardt Ocean 1, and just look at that watch. As you can see, I haven't woken it up yet. This thing is an absolute tank, and it just looks amazing. My brother has it on this brilliant bracelet, which he actually found on AliExpress. I'm not sure if these are solid end links, but Look at the quality of the rest of the bracelet. Reach your finger in here to pop that open. We see that it is not pressed, it's milled here. And it has a glide lock system in it. So we just pop that down and you can slide it out or slide it in and then pop it back up. That is super cool. I feel like all bracelets should have a mechanism like that. So as your wrist uh, shrinks or swells up, you can just, without any tools, pop that open, loosen it up a little bit or tighten it. And here, and we have the fold over here. Perfect. Look at that. Just looks great. It's brushed on top, polished on the sides. Amazing. AliExpress, who would have thought? That is awesome. Looking at the lugs, they're fairly short. They are not drilled. And I'm not sure how terrible this bracelet is to swap out. Given these tiny openings here, I would guess that it would be kind of challenging. I am absolutely terrible at swapping out bracelets because I don't really own any watches that are on bracelets. The only one that I have is the Everest, and I've taken that one off once, and it was kind of a nightmare to put back on. But, but look at how well this bracelet fits this watch. It looks like it's the bracelet it was supplied on. That is super cool. Looking at the case back, we see that it is all brushed, and it's crazy how much that case back sticks down. It's kind of bubbled in a way. You see that it's screwed down there. And we have some coordinates on here. I need to look that up. I'll do a follow-up video on this watch. Kind of talk about their partnership with Nomon. Because, yeah, I really don't know anything about that. When I borrowed this, that was the first time I'd actually heard about this piece. That's Nomon exclusive. And looking at the crown, we see that it is signed. That is cool. It looks great. We have some guards there. It is screwed down, so let's unscrew that and see what it's like to use this crown. So we'll wind it up. That is smooth. Oh, like butter. And there it goes. Coming to life. You can see that this watch is no date. Let's pop this out. Very nice. Decent amount of resistance there. And you can see that it hacks. Pop that back in. And screw this back down. Very nice. And looking at the bezel, we see that it has minute markers all the way around it. I like that font. That's pretty great. Very grippy. So let's see what it's like to use this. Yep, that's pretty tight. Absolutely zero back play whatsoever. That 
just doesn't even move. Try it again. Yep. Get this all the way around. Let's see how this lines up up at the top. There we go. Spot on. I like that pip up there. That looks great. As you can see, this loom is very much patinaed. It kind of reminds me of the Aquascaf's um, patinaed loom, where it's not, it's kind of beyond a cream color. It's a little bit darker, almost approaching an orangish color. Looking at the crystal, it's domed, which I love because it carries on this angle of the bezel and it gives the watch some depth inside here. That is really cool looking. I love the handset. I really like mill sub watches. The dot indices with the sword hand and the pencil hand. Oh, this just looks so great. Absolutely brilliant. What a cool looking watch. All right, let's check out this loom and see how it performs. Wow, look at that. That is some amazing loom on this thing. I love that blue color. So interesting that it glows blue like that given how orangey, creamy color the loom is in light. That is some great loom. Very cool. As for the specifications on this watch, the case size is 39 millimeters. The case height is 14 millimeters. The lug to lug is 47 millimeters. The lug width is 20 millimeters. The case material is stainless steel. The crystal is sapphire. The crown is screwed down. This thing has 300 meters of water resistance. The movement inside it is a Salita SW200. All right, so let me take my vintage Wittenauer off and we'll see what it's like when you're wearing this. Here is the Steinhardt on my seven inch wrist. Sadly, this watch is a bit large and I don't want to remove any links. It's already as small as it can get without doing that, so we'll just have to imagine that it fits well. Just look at that. I love mill sub watches. Oh, so cool. Especially when summertime comes around, you're hanging out on the beach or something. They just look perfect. It doesn't look terribly thick. It definitely feels solid. I mean, this is one heavy watch. 300 meters of water resistance, not too shabby. So there you have it, a brilliant looking mill sub style watch. I actually miss owning a mill sub watch. I did own the Genot Ocean Rover for a while, but had to get rid of that. You know that story. I think I may have to add another mill sub to my collection at some point in time. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.